Hey, it's Cheyenne with Anniston Museum of Natural History and today we are in the collections department. Now in front of me, I have some pretty typical items that we would use to clean collections items. Um, we have this nice flat brush here, which is used for dusting. Um, we have a cotton rag. We have cotton balls that we would use to clean the surface area of things. And we have some Q-tips that can help us get into tighter areas. Now today, I'm going to be cleaning ivory. Now, ivory is something that's considered contraband, which means it is illegal to have it. Um, and to clean it, we actually use a one-to-one -one alcohol to water ratio. So we want to make sure that we're not going to strip the ivory of anything. Now, if you look, it's a nice pineapple shape and you can see this number here on the top. Um, that's actually what we use to help us identify it. So when I look that number up in our database, that's going to tell me where it came from, who it came from, things like that. So when you clean ivory, what you're basically going to do is you're going to start with brushing it. So I would start with kind of brushing it off and I try to get into those little crevices because this is very much intricately carved. So we want to make sure that we're getting everything in there. Then you're going to wet your, the tip of your Q-tip and I would start on kind of a smaller area like so. And I just rub it enough that I can see that it's starting to get clean. You wanna make sure that you're not stripping it of anything. So typically when we do stuff like this, we wanna make sure we start on a small area, make sure it's not too acidic, too much of anything. And then once I have that area clean, I go right behind it and I pat it dry and I'm gonna do that for the whole thing.